So it's in the second half of book two that the long argument begins. The short argument is the argument that Socrates gave in book one. And that was the argument in favor of the just life over the unjust one. The longer argument begins here. Um, and it's really fascinating the way that uh, Plato sets things up. What is Socrates' proposal to prove that justice is better than injustice, that the just life is the one that will make you happy? Whether or not you receive any reputation and personal benefits for being just, that, that it'll make you happy, period. And that the unjust life, no matter what supposed benefits it may bring, will make you unhappy and wretched. Well, remember that Socrates, in order to prove this thing, and this is what the Republic seeks to prove, that the, in, the just life is better than the unjust one. But Socrates has said at the end of book one that he knows nothing, and the reason he knows nothing is because he doesn't know what justice is. So he cannot just uh, argue again that the just life is better. He's got to find out what justice is. And, and then on the basis of that, because how can you even identify the just person without knowing what justice is? And on the basis of that, uh, try to see whether justice truly does make you happy and injust the reverse of happy. So what he does here is a very crucial thing. He says, we're looking for justice, but it's hard. So we, if we find justice on the larger scale, then we might be able to see it easier. After all, at the end of the day, what we're looking for is who is the just individual and are they therefore happy being just? But let's start on something easier, he says. And there's a considerable amount of irony here, I think. But let's start with something easier, and that is let's, let's look for justice in a city on a bigger scale. And then when we find out what that is, justice on the larger scale, then we'll be able to know what justice is on the smaller scale, that is, on the scale of the individuals. Then we'll be able to know whether the just person is truly happy. I can't emphasize this more. If you don't know this about the Republic, then you don't know anything about the Republic. That is, if you don't know that he's trying to find what justice is on the scale of a city, then use that as a means for identifying justice on the scale of the individual, and then to see whether, therefore, the just individual is happy and the unjust one unhappy. If you don't know that sequence of, of questions or issues or thoughts, then you don't know anything about the Republic. I'm just telling you right now. So I'm glad that, you know, you're reading it. You got to read it. And I'm glad that you've, you've listened to this video. So um, what he does in the rest of book two is to start to build a city and to try to make it just, right? Right. Is to, to, to build a city in his imagination and to make that city as just as possible. You got to read it. You got to see what sort of city he imagines. And we uh, will come out of it with a certain structure, right? with a certain structure, uh, which is especially a political or class social structure. And it's that class or social structure which is absolutely key to what Plato is getting at and what sets up his theory of human nature. His, Plato's theory of human nature is based upon the class structure of his theoretical city. Am I still in? No. Yes, I'm still in book two. And it's this class of the guardians, uh, which is most important. It's the one that's introduced here. The idea that there needs to be a leadership class within the city. This is crucially important, that the so-called best people need to rule. And he calls them the guardians. This is uh, preparatory, but this is his, what's often thought to be his political philosophy. I don't know how serious it is, but within the structure of the republic, these guardians are crucially important because they represent a certain segment of society, but as we'll come to see, they also rep represent a certain segment and crucial segment of the soul. <laughs>